Maple syrup urine disease is caused by deficiency of plant chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase. It is an autosomal recessive inheritance. Mechanism of maple syrup urine disease. Here we have leucine, valine, isoleucine in our human bodies. It forms plant chain alpha ketoacids with the help of enzyme plant chain amino transferase. From that, it forms CO2 plus acid coenzyme A thiesters with the help of enzyme branching alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase. It forms alpha beta unsaturated acid coenzyme A thiesters with the help of enzyme acid coenzyme A dehydrogenase. From valine, it will form succinin coenzyme A. From leucine, it will form beta hydroxy beta methylglutarine coenzyme A. And from isoleucine, it will form propionine coenzyme A plus acetine coenzyme A. So, that is the brief scheme of metabolism of leucine, valine, and isoleucine in our body. Now let's have a look at what will happen to our bodies if there is a deficiency of plant chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase enzyme. So if this happens in our bodies, there won't be the breakdown of leucine, valine, and isoleucine in human bodies, which will lead to accumulation of them in our bodies. This disorder is called maple syrup urine disease. Manifestation of maple syrup urine disease consists of vomiting, poor feeding. The smell of urine will be like maple syrup or burnt sugar. Another manifestation is psychomotor delay and intellectual disability. If the disease gets really severe or serious, it will lead to death. Here we have one question which is why psychomotor delay happens in patients with maple syrup urine disease. As we can see, there will be the accumulation of leucine, valine, and isoleucine in human bodies. It will lead to large neutral amino acid transport, for example, tyrosine or tryptophan, into the central nervous system. This will result in the decrease in dopamine serotonin synthesis. As we all know that dopamine and serotonin is really important for our psychological states. If there is a decrease in these neurotransmitters synthesis in our body, it will lead to the psychomotor delay. Diagnosis of maple syrup urine disease consists of elevated plasma level of PCAA, elevated urine level of PCKA, pyruvates, and lactate. Doctors can also do the detection of alloisoleucine and 2-oxo-30-methylvaleric acid with high-performance liquid chromatography. They can also do newborn screening. Treatment of maple syrup urine disease consists of restriction of isoleucine leucine and valine in the diet of patients. We can also recommend patients to use thiamine supplement or vitamin B1 supplements. If the disease gets really severe or serious, the patient might need to do the liver transplantation. Now let's have a quick revise of the maple syrup urine disease. Maple syrup urine disease 
is caused by BCKA dehydrogenate deficiency and it is an autosomal recessive inheritance. What is the manifestation of maple syrup urine disease? It consists of vomiting, feeding, urine smells like maple syrup, psychomotor delay, or even death. Diagnosis of maple syrup urine disease consists of elevated plasma level of BCAA, elevated urine level of BCKA, pyruvate, and lactate, detection of isoleucine 2 oxo 30 methane valeric acid with high performance liquid chromatography or newborn screening. Treatment of maple syrup urine disease consists of restriction of leucine, valine, and isoleucine in diet, thiamine supplements, or liver transplantation if the disease gets really severe.